good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog i hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible you know i was actually looking at the banner for the new podcast channel of course checking in link in the description if you guys want to check it out with any luck we'll have a first podcast coming up any day now and actually it was taken right on this wall before the Reptarium even was here, and now there's not even a wall. Behind this is actually the opening that joins the new Reptarium with the old Reptarium. And later on tonight, we are actually open for the Reptarium, which is always an absolutely amazing time. And we're actually gonna be feeding my girl Lucy when we're open, which is always a real big hit. But before that, I've got a bunch of things to do here at the Reptarium and over at BHB. And I think I'm gonna get started with feeding Ben and Jerry. It's so cool that you can kind of figure out an animal, right? Now I know that I either have to give Jerry it right away or I have to wait till Ben gets going a little bit and then Jerry will eat. It's just cool to, again, to figure out animals like that. So let's go ahead and see if I can get Jerry to eat first. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, Ben is, <laughs> Ben is, <laughs> so I'm gonna try, oh, 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 nope, nope. Ben got it, Ben got it. It's so hard to get Jerry to get it right off the bat. But now I know that Ben has it, I have to actually let him start eating. And once he's kind of like a quarter of the way done, then Jerry feels comfortable and will actually take. So bizarre how this animal works. Oh my gosh, Jerry just took it. Jerry never does that. He always wants to wait till Ben is eating, but I figured uh, I'd just go ahead and give it a shot. And uh, sure enough, Jerry ate it too at the same time. How crazy. I'm gonna see if the emerald tree boa wants to eat for us today. Come on, girl. Do I go? There she goes. There she goes. Tell you what, there is nothing like an emerald tree boa. What an amazing animal. I mean, I tell you what, that is so cool. I love that she's feeding so well, and it's just so amazing. Again, I've talked about how I want to build that enclosure next door for either more emeralds or maybe Amazon basins or something like that. And you know, now that we're getting going with the new year, you know, I've got so many goals, guys. You know, I've always said that I don't necessarily believe in January 1st being like the new beginnings because I honestly make resolutions 365 days a year. Well, this year 366 because of leap year. But the fact is, is that, you know, I don't look at particular dates, but at the same time I do see, hey, there's new beginnings, right? And this year it's a new beginning. So I have so much planned for this year. More than ever. I think more initiatives than I've ever had in my entire life. I'm super excited. And by the way, the other day when we talked about should I stop daily vlogging, some of you mentioned like, Brian, if you're starting to get burned out, guys, I'm not burned out. Trust me. I have plenty of energy. For me, I want to daily vlog. For me, I want to keep pushing. To me, I want to push it to the end of everything I possibly can. I love, love, love being busy and being kind of excited because you got to remember, you only really burn out when you do something you don't love. When you love it, you don't burn out. You want to do even more of it. So this year is going to be amazing and I cannot wait to bring you guys along on the entire journey. We are a few days so, into the new year, obviously. That is true. What's Beautiful. the goals? I mean, do you believe in resolutions? No. No. Resolutions. Honestly, I don't notice a difference no. from the 31st to the 1st. It's all the same to me. I agree with you a thousand percent. That being said, what's your goal? Do you have goals this year or what? More reptiles, more reptiles, more reptiles. Personal collection. Mine I'm is. Building it up. Just Thinking a like king. I just King crazy. Cobra? So, you know, come you're on. Crazy. You're I just want to make it to 2021. <laughs> well, I hope you'll wow. make it to 2021. I know, me too. Lad. Me too. Why That's what you? I'm saying. Wow, you're a simple well, guy. Well, you unfortunately, you better make it to 2021. I hope I do too. You That's better. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You I know. Better. You better. I'd be. I'd be. Mad I'm gonna be praying for him. He'll yeah, make it. gosh, come on. I'm, I mean, we all might die. <laughs> So, so much for the inspir. I was hoping you guys come out here and you guys be like, yeah, I'm looking to clown, climb Kilimanjaro and I can't wait till our I'm podcast just... hits number one on the Dude, Yeah, yeah, and, uh, number one podcast. Number one climbing. Was, yeah, Noah Something. brings out the old I, I'm just trying part. to live. <laughs> just trying to live. Okay, well, I hope we That's all terrible. do. terrible. God I bless know. you. I hope. Thank you. Pray for Happy us. New Year. Yeah. Huh? Well, it could be happy death year. Oh my God, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. 
So the skinks have been cooled down for about two months now. When I say cool down with the northerns, it means that they've only dropped to like the maybe 76, 77 degree, no hot spot. So today we turn the hot spots on, start to wake my little monkeys up. And it is funny, they literally just burrow down and don't move. I mean, typically when you're down here, you hear them moving and rustling around. This time of year, it is dead quiet by them. So we're gonna turn the heat on today. It'll probably take them a week or so to wake up. We'll start feeding them and then the breeding season begins. All right, guys, you know I always ask for your help when I need it. I do need someone that is skilled in uh, web design, but in particular, like 3D design web design, if that makes any sense. So like a landscape type of a site type of thing where you can make things 3D, I need your help. I've got an idea, but I need help. So if you are one of those people that are skilled with uh, all things website, including design, can you please email me at info at BHB Reptiles? I'd like to talk to you more. It may not be a, a real super exciting thing to talk about today, but it's exciting to me uh, because every step that we take towards the Reptarium being open is a huge step for me. Today we're doing the rough electrical work. You can see some of the boxes up on the wall over here. Those boxes are where the plugs are gonna be for the cages and stuff like that. So uh, all over here, they're doing the, the snake massage room. We've got the roughing going on and everything. So today, all the electrical stuff will be roughed and then we can actually start putting up drywall, drop ceiling, all that stuff so this is the next really important step we can't do anything until this is done so it's pretty exciting that my friends are over here crushing it getting everything going we got to make sure everything is in the right spot but it looks really good so far and uh you know again it may not seem like a big deal to you but i see this over here and i think all right right below it is going to be the tree monitor cage and a rack of cages over here and right over there are going to be the cages for the snake inside and i start seeing that it gets me super excited so uh again one more step towards complete which by the way again February 3rd hopefully will be the install date if you guys are interested in potentially helping info at the HV reptiles we need about 20 or 25 people to help get stuff in this place and start installing You guys are always spoiling us. We've got a bunch more stuff to unbox. Uh, what are you going to start with? Well, that one has your name. This one has my name. And uh, go ahead, you start opening two. Sorry, this one has my name. Has okay. your name? Yeah. Who sends Lori stuff Nancy without me? Did. Nancy. Nancy, what about cool. my gift? Thanks, Nancy. I'm going to cut somebody. Oh my gosh. What is it? <laughs> Bacon ball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, Gary, or is it Jerry? Uh, it could go either way. Gary Weller. or Jerry Weller. Thank you. <laughs> Bacon <laughs> ball. I'm glad that's mm. for you. I'm gonna give you a kiss after I use that. Oh no. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh yes. <laughs> this is a gift for me. No, it says me, Lori and or Noah. Oh. I found this book. I could not resist buying it for Brian. Oh, <laughs> but I thought that either of you could find a way to mess with him on the vlog about the book. Oh, because how many times you find a book about a sloth? The sloth is named Brian? Oh my God, shut up. Yep, is that <laughs> that's what I'm saying, the sloth guy to take yeah, it Yeah, but it's easy. Named, the sloth's name is Brian in the book. Is it named said. Brian? I think that's what she said. Oh my God, it is. It says, hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> It's, it's meant to be. It's, That's funny. It is meant to well. be. Super excited about the podcast checking in. We've been working so hard trying to do Wednesday the 6th at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. But uh, as it goes, uh, we got the roadcaster. We got this rolling thing, which is the video switcher. We got our mics. We got everything. All this stuff. And, and honestly, guys, it's, it's, it's cost a lot of money. But we wanted to do it really cool. We want to have video, live stream, audio, the whole shot. Really good stuff. So I really want 
want to do it the right way. Turns out, guess what? Uh, there's another like encoder I need in order to stream live. So uh, we're trying to work it out, but there's a good chance that uh, it's going to be another $700 piece of an encoder that I have to get. Still on schedule, hopefully to do it. But man, I tell it, what a, what a trip. I mean, this has been a learning process, but I cannot wait to get the Checking In podcast going. Again, link in the description, put a pin comment. Please go show it some love. I think it's going to be pretty fun. I cannot wait to just be able to share an hour or two with you guys and just chat and you guys can really get to know my crazy mind and how I think so. Uh, not to mention all the cool people we'll have on. So I've got to figure this out. Hopefully we get this thing sorted out real quick. And it's that magical time, at least magical for me. Uh, we're opening up the rep term. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Welcome. Come on in guys. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good. Thanks for staying out the cold. I appreciate you guys. Hey, how are you? Great. How you doing? Good, good to see you. How are you? Welcome. Thanks Hi. Hi. How are you? A little nervous around snakes, so I figured this would be the place. We got you, 100%. Come on in. Have a good time. Great. I'll Thanks. give you a second. Well, awesome. Well, I'm excited to have you guys. Awesome. That's awesome. How are you guys doing? Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at you guys. <laughs> Hi. How are you? How are you? Welcome. Boom. <laughs> Welcome. As you can see, we're definitely uh, bumping here tonight at the Reptarium. It's absolutely, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> definitely a good time. And uh, just been, ever since we opened, just crazy amounts of people oh. hanging out to animals. You're okay. You're all right. Oh, we got pretty out as always. There you go, sweetie. Pretty is always a big favor for sure. We are going to get ready to feed Lucy here pretty quick. Bella's down for pets as she always is. We've got the mandarin bag out, which is really super cool. So Bruce is just introducing someone to the mandarin. Oh, God, oh you're okay. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> And uh, it looks like a lot of people are over here waiting for me to feed Lucy. So let's just go ahead and uh, get that ready here in the next few minutes. So the time has come to feed Lucy. Looks like everyone is excited. Okay, so I just, all I need is you to come in with, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lucy, come. She might not eat. There she goes. Did you have a good time? Yeah. What was your favorite thing so far? Which is the snakes. Yeah. The snakes and the chameleon. All right. What do you think, buddy? Uh, subscribe to Harry. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think, bud? Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. All right. What was your favorite thing? When you buy the reptiles. All right. Awesome. Well, you come back to see me, all right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to spend the rest of the night just enjoying my company here at the Reptarium. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, here's another video I think that you would absolutely love. Right here is a playlist of uh, 2019 if you want to roll through what we did last year. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Please turn the post notifications on. I hope you have a wonderful day. You better be kind to someone. I promise. I'll see you guys tomorrow.